What if you are asked to solve 203 squared and you're not giving a calculator and you have just five seconds to do that? Let me give you the solution and then tell you how I got that. The solution to this is this. Yes, and I'm sure this didn't take me up to five seconds to get. Welcome back to my channel and I want to tell you that I'm going to teach you how to do this in three different ways, okay? Then at the end, we are going to use this simplest to solve other examples. All right, so let's start with the first example. The first one is this 203. You are asked to solve 203 squared. Unless I forget, if um, you missed my previous video, in that video, I taught how to square your numbers from 1 to 100. Two digit numbers, three digit numbers, the fastest way you can do that within five seconds. Okay? But in this video, I'm going to specifically teach how to square three digit numbers with zero at the center. In the other ones, it was just two digits and three digits numbers randomly. But this one must have zero at the center. Okay? All right. So if you missed that video after this, just check. It was my previous video before this. All right? Now, um, let's get to this. To solve this, let's start with the first way to do it. We are going to square the first number, square the second number, square the third number. Okay? So let's do that first. 3 squared is 9. Now because it's 9 and it is a single number, a single digit number, we need it to be two digits number. So we're going to add 0 to make it up. Okay? So that's why I wrote 0, 9. Now 0 squared is 0. Then we need to make it up to be two digits, right? So it's 0, 0. Now 2 squared is 4. As usual, we have to make it up. So it's going to be 0, 4. All right, then 2 times 0 is 0, double of that is still 0. So it must be two digit number. Similarly, 0 times 3 is 0, double of that is still 0. Okay, so two digit number. Then 2 times 3 is 6, double of that is what? 12. So we have 12. Then we add, we have 9, we have 0. We have two, we have one, we have four. This zero is of no use. So our solution is what? 41,209. Okay. Now this is the first method. The first method. And let me explain it again for those that didn't really get it. I squared three and I got zero nine. I squared zero and I got zero zero, right? I squared two and I got zero four. That is the first thing I did. Then 2 times 0. Let me remove this so that as I'm doing it, I'll be pointing it so you will understand. Now, this 2 times 0 gave us still, it's still 0, right? And double of 0 is 0. That's why I wrote 0, 0 here. Then we did 0 times 3 is what? Still 0. And double of that 0 is still 0. Okay? Then this 2 and this 3, you also multiply them. 2 times 3 is 6. And double of 6 is 12. That is why you have 12 here. Then we added everything and we got this. If you still don't understand this, then that means you need to watch the video I was talking about because I explained it in details there. Okay. Now, this is the first method. Let's use the second method. The second method is easier and we... We solved 203 squared, right? So this is what we do here. 3 squared is 9. So we write 0, 9. 0 squared is going to give us 0, okay? So we write 0, 0. Then 2 squared will give us 4. So we write 0, 4. Now, notice that if we say... 2 times 0, it will give us 0, and double of 0 is 0. So let's forget about it. Now, 3 times 0 is 0, and double of 0 is still 0. Let's forget about it. The only important figures here are 2 and 3. So let's go ahead and multiply them. 
Now, 2 times 3 will give us 6. And double of 6 is 12. Write it at the center. And add. We are going to have 9, 0, 2, 1, 4. Same result as the first. It's not a magic. Let me explain again. Before we get to the easiest, which is the third method. Okay? Now, this is what we did. 3 squared is 9. Write 0, 9. 0 squared is 0. Write 0, 0. 2 squared is 4. Write 0, 4. Now, 2 times 0 is 0. Double of that is 0. We are going to neglect that. 0 times 3 is 0. Double of that is 0. We are going to neglect that as well. But 2 times 3, this one now, 2 times 3 is 6. So we are not going to neglect that. And um, double of 6 is 12. Just write it at the center and add. If you do that, this is what you are going to get. <laughs> Pretty is right? Okay. Now, the third method and also the easiest. This is the easiest. Mm. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> okay, so this is 203 squared. Um, This is what we are going to do. 3 squared is 9. Write your 9. 0 squared is 0. Neglect it. Just leave that space. Okay? 4 squared, 2 squared, sorry, is 4. You write your 4. The 0 there doesn't really make sense. 0, 4. Assuming it's 40, ensure you write 40. Though I don't know, nothing squared is 40, but assuming it's 40, write your 40. But 2 squared is 4. No need for the 0. Okay? So write your 4. Now, we are going to go over. 2 times 3 is 6. Double of that is 2. Fill it up. And that is your solution. It's not a magic. It's not a magic. All right. Let's do it again. Three squared is nine. Write your zero nine. Zero squared is zero. Neglect that. But give space in the middle. Two squared is four. Write your four. Okay. If it's a double digit number, write your double digit number. Now, two times three is six. Double of six is twelve. And this is your solution. Now, pretty clear, right? So let's solve another example. And we are going to use this third method that is very easy. Okay? So as when you are asked to solve 504 squared, let me pause so that you do this by yourself. <laughs> All right. Now, let's do it together. Four squared will give us 16. So we write 16. 0 squared is 0. We are going to leave space in the middle. 5 squared is 25. We write 25. Now 5 times 4. 20. And double of 20 is 40. So this is our solution. <laughs> okay. Now let's have another one because there are some people that still by this time they may still not understand. We are asked to square this. Okay. Um, six squared is 36, right? Write your 36. Zero squared is zero. Neglect that, but leave space in the middle. Six squared is 36. Write your 36. Now you multiply. Six times six still give us 36. Now double of 36 is 72. Fill it up. This is your solution. As easy as A, B, C. Okay, now do this for me. Do this for me in three seconds. Um, what if you have 403 squared? Have you done that? Okay, now let's do it. We are going to be as fast as possible in three seconds. The solution is 3 squared is 9. Leave space here. 4 squared is 16. 4 times 3 is 12. Double of that is 24. And that is your answer. Bye.